Hi everybody, we're continuing our Gen Con coverage. I'm here at the Kids Tables booth and I'm here with Helena. Hi. How you doing? I'm good, how are you? Very good, enjoying the con so far? Oh yeah, it's amazing. Really busy, awesome. Yeah, we did a review of Food Fighters and we just happened to walk by. I didn't know she was here. And uh, we just noticed a problem picnic, Attack of the Ants. So Helena, can you give us a quick uh, five minute overview of the game? Sure. Um, Problem Picnic Attack of the Ants was designed by Scott Alms of the Tiny Epic series. It is a dice chucking dexterity game. And in this game you are playing a colony of ants competing with other colonies of ants to bring back the best and the most food to your ant queen. Okay. So um, we're going to go turn for turn, chucking our dice onto the picnic area. Show you some yellow. They have to land on them. They have to land on the cards. And I'm just going to get all the ants out there so I can right. tell you what happens next. Um, at the end of the round, you look to see who is not touching anything or overlapping. They go back to your colony. And the ones that are overlapping take the cards back to their colony. So, for example, this. Uh, just got a blue plate with a sandwich on it. It will go back right. to the colony, so um, and the ants go to drink at the pond at the end of the round. It's actually a little bit of a catch-up mechanism, so for people who aren't as good at dexterity, and they miss too much, they get more ants to play with on the next right. round. Meanwhile, the other ones are going to take a break. Exactly. Oh, that's exactly. a very cool mechanic. So, and then we're looking to see who beats out who. Here, there's a tie, so nobody gets it. Ants go back. Um, here, there are there's a tie as well, and because there's a tie, the ants go back, and nobody gets the card. And then blue gets this card. The ants go to drink at the puddle, and so we take our cards back. And we're actually looking, when we play with younger children, we're looking for the majorities. So um, whoever gets the most cookies, the most sandwiches, the most watermelon, or... The okay, so there's, a, there's a set collection element to it. Yes, it is. Okay. It is a set collection. Now, when we play with older people or people who are more experienced at playing games, there's actually a ton of strategy. So when you're bringing your... Um, mm. Let's see... Uh, when you're bringing your cards back to your colony, you're actually thinking about your placement because you want to try and fulfill these these placements right That's here. That's correct. So, for example, this is most of a totally identical food plate combo in a single connected line, and the line has to look exactly like that, so left to right. So I would... Nope, I'm looking through the wrong pile. I would want to have... Watermelons like this. And there you go. That's right. And so, um, right. as you're playing the game, you're thinking about how is it going to come back, which ones do I want to take back with me. When you're playing with younger kids, it's actually a pretty simple game where you're just chucking dice and you're looking at what the, right. what the majority is. Now, these is. ones here, is it first come, first served? Is that right? Um, well, actually, it's the one that gets the most, and the scoring is at the end of the game. Okay, right. perfect. Um, and so, at the end of the round, to signify that it's the end of the round, you would the person who's got the least number of plates back at their colony gets a round card, and they actually get these really awesome powers. So I'll give you an example of the stomping foot. If you've got <laughs> dice on and you can cover them up, cover them up and, kill the ants. and kill the ants, they actually go to the puddle to drink for the rest of the round. That's really cool. And yeah, so a little bit of take that kind of stuff. Uh, I noticed here the little bit yeah, of uh, the sugar a, trap. That's a good one too. So you can do that in one of two ways. If you've landed yours on here, but you really wanted this one instead. <laughs> you put some sugar yep, on it. <laughs> and it follows. The other way to do that is if you're on here and I don't want you on there, I can lead you off. That is really, yeah, really cool. And, 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 and give us a little... Uh, explanation for that one there. So this um, also is one of the round cards. I don't know if I have it out here. And the way it works is it's twofold. You could use it to block somebody from rolling, rolling onto on. a card. Okay. Or you could use it to try to keep your die from rolling off of the card. That's really cool. And it's really interesting, actually, because I had never thought about 
putting it so that my die doesn't roll off of the card. This morning, a, uh, a backer came and was playing it with us, and she showed us that, and it was That's like, it was really, great. really yeah. cool. You guys do some really interesting uh, games, and uh, this is no exception. That looks really, really fun. We're going to try and get some review copies and show you guys at Board to Death how this plays out in full detail. Keep watching. Subscribe now to our channel to stay in the loop. If you like our work, help us continue by sharing the channel to your gaming group. Thanks for watching and happy gaming.